Thank you for calling Nordstrom.com. My name is Ian, and how can I help you? Hi Ian, um, I just purchased the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer. It's a pretty expensive investment and I just wanted to kind of see like what my return policy is and my window of return if I'm not happy with the product. <laughs> This is my review of the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our community. We are so glad to have you. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for all of the love and the support that you've shown. So I would appreciate it if you would just hit the like button and we are going to go ahead and jump into today's review of the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer. This video is not sponsored. I just wanted to let you guys know that. For those of you who are into understanding hair types, let me know what am I? Am I 4B, 4C, 3A, 3D? I don't even know if those are hair <laughs> types or textures, but let me know what you guys think I am. I'm gonna blow dry one half, this little part right here, with my old hair dryer. And then the rest of my hair, I'm going to blow dry with the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer. That way we can get a little bit of a comparison to see if there's any noticeable difference between the two hair dryers. Just so that you'll know, I film in natural light. Um, so if you see the lighting going up and down and in and out, it's because the sun has decided to play peekaboo. And it's not a big deal, but I just want to let you guys know that it can kind of look a little funny on film or on your end. So I have grabbed my phone and I've got it set and we're gonna do this half of my hair on the front with the old hair dryer just to see how much time I'm spending with the old dryer versus the new. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit start and begin. So yeah, 13 minutes and about four seconds or five seconds is what we have here on time for the um, the old hair dryer. And so I'm just gonna pin this little piece up, right? And put it out of the way. And then we're gonna move on to this side. Are y'all excited now that I'm on this side of my hair and we're gonna be using the Dyson? I hope you are. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Don't forget. All right, so here we go with the Dyson. This one has the, as I said before, magnetic. Can you hear this? It just snaps in there. So let's see if this comb attachment stays on. Oh, don't let me forget to hit the start button. We're going to start our time. Y'all, I'm so excited. All right, let's go.
did cut my drying time in half by eight minutes. Well, not in half, but it, it was a little less time drying eight minutes and 42 seconds. So that's good. I don't think there is a noticeable difference in the texture of my hair, right? But what I did notice, this never popped off. This never popped off. All right guys, so I have gone ahead and I straightened my hair and I also trim my ends. And I didn't want to bore you guys with that because this is not a how you do your hair type video. What do I think? Dun -ba -da -da. I was impressed. Okay, so let's get into all of it. Obviously, I couldn't review the, the diffuser. I know a lot of curly girls that rock their curls use the diffuser and they really sang the, the praises of this particular attachment. I just can't say yay or nay because the only attachment I used was the comb attachment. This magnetic attachment, this is the sauce, okay? This is where it's at. My comb attachment while I was using the Dyson never flew across the room like my old hair dryer. My old hair dryer, Lord. I No matter how thick your hair is, I think this is definitely a game changer. Um, the drying time, that was another big thing of mine. In terms of this hair dryer, getting my hair dried in a quicker amount of time, it definitely did that. I wanted faster drying time and I also wanted uh, the comb attachment to stay on, which it did. Let's talk about some of the other things that it says. It, it does say, I'm trying to read off of the box. It says no extreme heat. I don't know how I feel about that. I felt like it got pretty hot, but I will say this. It has, this red button allows you to choose three different settings. And as you press it, these little dots light up one two and three so you can go from low to medium to high and then you can also on this side you can go from low to medium high in terms of your fan uh or how fast the the heat is blowing out so you can increase the fan speed or decrease it on this side and then it's a little cool shot here in case it gets too hot you can give yourself a break and get some cool air there. So I was really, I was impressed with it. Now let's talk about the price tag, okay y'all? Cause this thing is expensive. I have been saving for this dryer. Um, we have a policy in our home. We really try to stick with it. If, if you don't charge it, if you can't pay it when the bill comes. For me, because I do my hair and the girl's head, I think it was worth it for me. We don't go to the beauty shop and I think the reason that I can justify paying this amount for this hair dryer, seeing as how I'm not rich, okay, <laughs> is just doing the math and adding up how much it costs to go to the salon and that pretty much pays for the hair dryer in time. But if you are, a girl that frequents the hair dresser often and you just, you know, need a hair dryer for when you decide to do your hair. I don't know that I would invest in, in this. If you are, unless you got the coin. If you have the money to splurge on this hair dryer, you know, and still go to the hairdresser. So I don't know what your pockets look like, but if you have the money to splurge on this, yeah, definitely. It is, it is worth, it is worth it. You know what I wanna do? Let me do this. For those of you who are still on the fence about it, you guys know I purchased it from Nordstrom, right? Let's see what their return policy is. I'm gonna call them and I'm gonna let y'all listen in. And I'm gonna let them know that I purchased the Dyson Supersonic hair dryer. And I just wanna see like what they say in terms of like, 
your window for return because maybe you want to um, get the dryer, test it out for a while, and then be guaranteed your money back in full if you're not really happy. So, about a Nordstrom credit account or the Nordy Club, please press one. For all other inquiries, we will be right with you. For quality assurance purposes, your call may be recorded or monitored. Good news. We've reopened select Nordstrom stores where regulations allow. Please stay on the line and we will be with you as soon as we can. Thank you for calling Nordstrom.com. My name is Ian and how can I help you? Hi Ian, um, I just purchased the Dyson Supersonic hair dryer um, probably about a week or two ago and um, it's a pretty expensive investment and I just wanted to kind of see like what my return policy is and my window of return if I'm not happy with the product. Um, one of my biggest things is I saw where um, it's supposed to be able to provide less heat damage and just be a better, you know, tool for hair drying. And I wouldn't obviously know that until I try it out for a while. So yeah. what uh, guarantees, if any, do I have through you guys? So when it comes to, when it comes to return since here at Nordstrom, um, we, we actually don't have a return time frame because, you know, uh, there's, there's no, there's no time limit or anything like that to worry about. Um, it's mainly just, uh, now, you know, just making sure that if you end up not liking that uh, that air wrap, you know, just return it with all the pieces and everything like that, and it can be returned either in store or by mail, and we'll get a refund process because you know you you won't know if you know you'll like it or if it'll work out for you until you try it out. Okay, great, great. So um, just hold on to my box, and just if I'm not happy with the product, just return it. Correct, and I'll get my right. full full amount back and refund the way I paid for it. Correct. Okay. All right, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. All right, thank you. You too, bye-bye. Do you guys hear that? So for those of you who are still on the fence, this is why I love Nordstrom. Um, but I just wanted to make sure that this was not something because you know sometimes they have things you know the rules change depending on what you're buying. Um, but as much as I know. Nordstrom has an amazing return policy. So if you're still on the fence about it, buy it from Nordstrom, give it a try, and you heard the representative Ian. And let me just say this, if you don't have a Nordstrom in your area, it is all good. You can order this online, free shipping and free returns. I don't know if he mentioned that. I don't know if, I don't think he mentioned that. Um, but it, it's free returns. When you get any products from Nordstrom.com, they'll send you a little label in the mail that you can just peel off and put right back on your package and send it back. I know some of you guys were on the fence before I did the unboxing and my review may not be your review. You may think the dryer sucks and that's, you know, totally your prerogative and it's up to you. Everybody's hair texture and type is different but this is a win for me um i can't wait to try it out on my girls um i'm in love with it i'm definitely keeping it but for those of you who are on the fence like i said go ahead get it from nordstrom and that way you can return it if you're not happy just i would recommend obviously keeping your box keeping all of your attachments um and yeah and then just go from there let me know down below in the comments if you have the dyson supersonic hair dryer and um what you think about it and also let me know down below if you are thinking about going ahead and splurging on this dryer as always guys i appreciate your love and your support make your day beautiful the choice is yours and i'll see you guys real soon bye here on the sides i've got like some um, heat damage and i know i've made videos before saying how to avoid heat damage and what i mean by that is not in its entirety i believe if you are straightening your hair and putting heat on your head which i do you're gonna have some degree of heat damage from just manipulating your natural hair texture that is just in my opinion going to come but you can definitely reduce that damage to where it's not like 
so bad to where your hair is breaking off and not able to thrive and be healthy so yeah and i usually get it just on the sides like if you guys can see the back of my hair it always maintains like the curl at the end but it's just the sides for the most part in the front that have like the damage and another thing is i believe in cutting my hair we'll get into that in a whole nother video so 